For now, let's do the stone felt filter. There are two plates. We will set two different color of the stones. The diameter is 1.0 Okay, finish your filter. Some stone is without it. It doesn't matter. We can We can run it. For now, we have to do the second plate stone filter. The color is white, the uh, diameter is 1.0. Okay, we, we will set all the stones on the plate for the auto setting. This is white color, and here is uh, another color, green. We will set into the machine. Choose uh, uh, to start setting two colors. In future, we will update the machine to three plates. All the stores is sucked by vacuum into the plate one by one, and then other with other parts without suction into here. Okay, there are two plates. We will set one turn in in the in the vex. Okay, for now we have set two plates with different color. One is green, one is white. Okay, for now we will set long part with the green color okay let's see how to do the programming we will build one program okay it's so a flown part okay this is the plate 2 we already choose plate 2 or this fetching from the plate 2 to get the stones onto the vex okay so we do the setting programming so we need a manually to fetch the point of the vex this uh, axis can be uh, 180 degrees and that uh, z axis can be 702 degrees to moving so each place or any curve on the vex can be set correctly We will do set the needle into the vex posi a stone position and press stock. Okay, so this position memory uh, position uh, parameter will be insert to the screen. You see, one parameter means one stone position parameter. Okay, so we will fetch one by one. All the position will be onto the 
machines. Okay. 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 So um, this one we already finished is uh, programming. All is here. This one I just show you how to do the programming of each stones. So later we will do uh, stone setting. Okay. Okay. This is uh, each stone's position. The programming already setting is uh, box number one and. Uh, Box number two is plate number two. Plate number two is a green color, so it will be two uh, steps. So let's start uh, working. So after programming, what we do is do manually, manually setting to check the position is 100% correctly. Okay, for now we go into the second plate to set the another color stones. Okay, this is manual setting result. So uh, after manually setting is okay, we will start the auto setting. Press operation. Okay. For now, it's a two color setting. So set the second one again. We will press option. Press here to start again. Uh, our machine is very fully auto. If no stones on the head, suction head, so it will not set into the wax. Okay, that's the full process. Okay, for now we will use uh, uh, the designs file of the wax to match the stones. This is a 3D scanner file. We will insert this file into machine.
Okay, so this is all the positions of the stones from the uh, 3D printer. Ah, this is a 3D scanner. We will scan it and get the file from the machine. Yes, this is a 3D scanner uh, file. And uh, find the position of stones. Okay, then we can fetch the stone positions from the file. We get this uh, file of the stones. Okay, this is the files STL. So we use this file into the machine. So this is our machine software. And uh, insert this kind of file to get this. Uh, So analyze the position of the stones. Okay, this is uh, setting positions programming already generator. Okay. So st stock the data of the programming. And I use this uh, file to insert to the machine. OK, to insert this machine to the, ma uh, the file to the machine. OK, this is the real VEX we already scanned. So just now we already get the uh, positions of the stones. The file also inserted the machine. So just now with the file and okay, this file we just another generator for the programming. So insert to the machine. So get this uh, parameter. All parameters, the uh, setting parameter in the uh, in the machine. So we must do. Double checking of each position. So this position we already set the machine uh, zero point into the machine. So uh, each stone will be right on the vex also. Uh, maybe some vex will be expand or shrinkage. So you also need double check each position of the stones. It's right. Okay, maybe do the little tiny adjustment of each stones. That's a process by the file. We will do the, mm, we'll do the rubber base. So we will mix two rubbers. Okay, this is a base. Okay, when you switch the J, so switch the device, we will take the base out. Okay, press in. Okay, we'll be wait 10 to 20 minutes to let it solid. Okay, to freeze. How to freeze? Uh, okay, and then we can use the base to to the programming. Okay, so that's the process. So when we do the change the designs of the VEX to do setting, we will change this uh, base. Change the base. Ah, uh, change this the base.
so it will be uh, the angles also is fixed in the machine.